Hey, welcome back to the channel. Did you ever have a great idea and then realize it's just a lot of work? <laughs> that was dumb. That, that was dumb. Every tool's a hammer. Unless it's a screwdriver, then it's a chisel. <laughs> Look at that torch. Hate that nut. I'm not, we're not doing it. Because <laughs> huh. it ain't built till it's overbuilt. Every day is a school day. I kind of, I, I kind of stepped in it a few years ago, uh, right on the tail end of COVID. Uh, our, see, our little town always has a great Fourth of July parade, and uh, it got canceled for two years in a row because of COVID. And I, I didn't really like that it was canceled, so we just had a parade anyways. Uh, and it was pretty cool. It was nothing big, but people really liked it. They came out. It's kind of an unorganized thing. It was just it was just fun. COVID yeah. was pretty much over uh, in the fall of, what was that, three? I don't know, whenever that was. So a couple of us decided that we would have a, a uh, harvest festival, like a fall festival. So we, we had a thing years ago. Um, they had a thing in town called Thistle Day, way back in the 1920s. And... Uh, so we decided we'd bring that name back. We called it Thistle Day because this town, Argyle, is a, is a Scottish, originally was a town of Scottish people. And the thistle is the uh, national flower or whatever of Scotland. So anyways, uh, so we decided we'd have Thistle Day. We had a, we had a parade because we hadn't had a, you know, a, a, a real parade in a couple of years. And uh, we had fireworks. We had a band and had some stuff. The first year was okay. The second year, which was last year, was uh, was much better, you know. We moved all of the festivities to a field that my family owns just because it's big and, and you can park cars there and all that. It was kind of handy. Uh, so that kind of stuck. We got some food trucks and we had a really cool thing last year. So this year we're doing it again. We're skipping the parade because now we have our, our 4th of July parade is back and, and we have a really good 4th of July parade. So... Uh, we don't really want to step on that at all. So we're just doing we're just doing a thistle day thing. We got we got Scottish uh, games coming. These these club there's a club that puts them on. They're going to come and and uh, we got the fireworks again. We got a live band, a good local live band coming. We got several food, more food trucks this year, uh, and we're thinking it's going to be really cool. We're setting up like a play area for the kids, um, which is basically just a bunch of hay bales they can jump on but you know kids they entertain themselves if you let them so uh that's the plan so what i'm getting at in all this is i got a ton of work to do okay i gotta go down i gotta mow the field i gotta bring over some bleachers we got bleachers at the tractor pole track that are movable so i can just grab them not the big ones i'm not moving them but we have some small ones so i'll move some of those up i got just a whole a whole big list of chores to do so i'm gonna head down uh, and and uh do all the stuff and I'm gonna try to bring you along for some video. Uh, let's face it, I'm gonna forget to take pictures again because <laughs> that's, <clears throat> that's what I do. Let me see what I can do. I'll, I'll get what I can get and uh, show you how this works. But the moral of the story is our town didn't really have um, like a community festival. A lot of towns have them. Usually they're in the fall. It's like a harvest festival or whatever you wanna call it. Um, so a few of us decided maybe we should, so we just did it and lo and behold, people love it. I'm telling you people last year, the thing grew a ton and, and a ton of other people were saying, oh, you know, I wish I didn't miss it or whatever. I'm going to be there next time. So I'm expecting this year it's going to grow again. And, and I really do think it's going to be, going to be pretty awesome. So I'm kind of excited and I don't mind the extra work as long as people come and people enjoy it you know that's what it's all about so that's enough talk i'm gonna get to work i'm gonna try to bring you along and we'll see the first order of business will be mowing i got uh, they just cut the hay off here oh gosh three weeks ago probably but the grass has slowed down it's not terrible long i got my flail mower on Ooh, the sun is, uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna mow it got the pile of slab wood out there the neighbor the neighbor here uh is he and his father run a sawmill and 
he can get lots of slab wood. So he built the bonfire this year for us, which is awesome. It's <laughs> gonna be a beauty. my wife and daughter are helping me lay out all the spots for the food vendors which <laughs> takes a little more thinking and planning than you might expect but uh, we ended up with a really nice layout and everybody was happy the food vendors sold plenty of food and that's how you keep them interested so they want to come back next year you know That rig that's moving around there is a guy that does barbecue, local guy, and he's setting up to do a barbecue fundraiser for the local American Legion. So that's that's one of our food vendors there. He sets up that rig and, and uh, he cooks all night. He sleeps, <laughs> well, I don't know if he sleeps or not, but he has that bus there to stay in and he'll cook uh, pulled pork all night long. Well, that was about it for the setup, really. I, there's a lot I didn't get videos of, but it's pretty boring. This was the guy that uh, runs the throwing club that put on um, a competition, an actual sanctioned Scottish throwing games competition. It was really cool. He's doing the caber toss there. Uh, it's called the Empire Throwing Club. Uh, and then we had a local riding stable that brought down horses and gave free horse pony rides for the kids on leads and a lot of folks knew what they were doing, dressed up accordingly, and then there's me, my brother-in-law, that really don't know what we're doing, but we wore kilts. This is a local kid who actually lives right next door that came out and played the bagpipes. Um, on the right there, you can see the band set up on a trailer. We had fireworks. We had a professional crew that comes in and does the fireworks. They do an awesome job. Uh, and I put in a special request for that full moon and perfectly clear skies so that was nice addition fireworks were great people talk about them until next year they'll be talking about the fireworks show all of these pictures and videos just about anyways all of them uh, i pirated from social media because as usual i didn't take any here's the bonfire at the end that's my daughter standing in front of it it was huge uh, folks love that too 
And at the end here, I've got some video, I think, of the throwing club stuff I can show you. After the guys that uh, knew what they were doing were done, they let anybody go out and throw a throw a heavy thing up over a high bar. You don't really ask questions. You just do what they say. And then the part I think everybody was really waiting for was, you know, me in a kilt. We did it. Thistle Day 2023 is in the books. Um, we just got a little cleaning up left to do here. Not much. We're waiting for the tents to dry. It was great. We had an awesome day. Uh, we ended up getting sponsors. We got five $1,000 sponsors and that covered the cost of the fireworks at least. Uh, plus we had some other people donate cash. So it was almost a break even as far as the taxpayers go. And that's the goal. You know, we don't want it to be a burden on anybody but i'll tell you people loved it people came out it was probably maybe twice as big as last year or at least half again as big as last year and last year was great so it was an awesome day i noticed a lot of the food vendors were running out of food running out of change running out of stuff so it was bigger than they were planning on it being that's that's what you want um i want to encourage you if you live in a small town and you don't have a thing <laughs> make a thing if there's already something if there's already some kind of community celebration just get involved there's a committee somewhere i guarantee it just uh just get involved get on it get into it uh and if there's nothing start something pick pick a thing and go with it and then just be willing to change when you see what people like and what people don't like um this is this has really been great and i'll tell you the community welcomes it they they really love to have something to do i think i mean i gotta be honest i think seeing me in a kilt <laughs> it's a big draw for a lot of them yeah there's there's been complaints <laughs> okay let's leave it at that so i want to thank you for watching and again i want to encourage you if you live in a small town get involved get something started or help make it better if you live in a big city that means you live in a neighborhood and that neighborhood is just a small town so get involved uh do something hey <laughs> probably honking at me because of my kilt i've been beating girls off with a stick down here all day so don't you know don't wait around for something to happen get out and make something happen <laughs> people will love it people will respond well to it and you're gonna have haters and you don't listen to them you just move forward 
and you do what people are telling you is the right thing to do. What people want, that's the right thing to do. So that's it. I'm not going to preach a sermon, all right? Thanks for watching. Make sure you click subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment. All that stuff helps grow the channel, and that's what I need to do right now. So uh, I appreciate anything you can do. All right. God bless you. God bless the United States of America.